The NBC Titans Grand Prix. I'm here with the new Mr. Olympia, Phil Heath. How's it going, Phil? It's going great, thanks. We had Phil guest post here tonight. He usually rocks the house as usual in great shape. Usually you see some guest posts kind of out of shape. This guy was in awesome shape coming off two months after his Olympia win. How'd it feel tonight? Felt really good, you know. I mean, I've been traveling all around the world, obviously, to, you know, promoting the sport as best I can. But coming here, I mean, it was like no other. I was able to have a great response from the crowd. You know, John Lizzie puts on an amazing event, and I just had a great time, you know, hitting some poses. Now I know you came out with a new clothing line as well. What's it called? It's called Gifted Athletics. Um, you know, I got with a member from stillclothing.com and we did a collaboration project for, for the fans. I mean, they really want to see something high end, you know, great quality, but doesn't brand you necessarily as a bodybuilder. So definitely have to check it out on my website. And what's that? Phil, Philheat.com? Actually, it's Philip. We went with the government name. <laughs> so it's, you know, P H I L L I P Heath, H E A T H.com. And uh, you'll be able to look, at, look it up on there and also at stillclothing.com. What else is going on for you from now to the end of the day? Got a lot of guest poses, appearances, or are you shutting down? I'm going to shut it down for next weekend, obviously for the Halloween weekend. I'm going to be passing out candy at the house as Mr. Olympia. I'm not going to be wearing the posing trunks or anything like that, but I'm, I'm definitely thinking about wearing a, the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger-esque commando predator style, you know, with the with the face paint and stuff and scare the hell out of them. But as far as traveling is concerned, I'm, I've got a philanthropy that I'm doing out in Seattle, Washington to help promote um, health and fitness and also um, help against uh, battered women and uh, cancer. So I'll be out there representing, you know. You know, Phil Heath, but also IPB, NPC as well, out, out in Seattle, Washington. Then after that, I'll be doing the uh, uh, guest posting out in Lackland, Texas, you know, for the troops. So that's something that I'm really looking forward to because, you know, these servicemen and women, you know, protect you and I every single day. And uh, I can't wait to do that. So definitely stay tuned. And other than that, I think uh, I'm going to Nationals. Definitely going to go to NPC Nationals just to support the, you know, the guys and some, some of my buddies are doing the contest. But obviously, I, I just love bodybuilding. I just got to be around it as much as I can before Thanksgiving because right around then, it's all football and offseason. So thank goodness I can celebrate an offseason finally. Well, you're a great ambassador and talking about the troops and, you know, supporting the bodies. That's what we need is a great ambassador. And you're following in the many before years footsteps. And uh, what about next year now? What's going to happen next year, Phil? <clears throat> <laughs> well, you know, I know there's a lot of high expectations, obviously, being the champ now. But I've dealt with high expectations from the minute I started bodybuilding as a pro. And I think I've been able to hand up fairly well. But my main objective is not to focus necessarily on the negativity that people say, oh, you can't do this, oh, you can't do that. But to focus on the people that do support me and the support the support of bodybuilding. With all that said, I mean, as far as my physique is concerned, I'm just going to take those photos now that they're re-emerging, you know, not, not necessarily online, but in the photographs and the magazines and flex, and cut those things out and start writing down what I need to do to eclipse that physique. Because that's exactly what I did going into this Olympia contest. So I truly believe that I can best that, you know, what people have seen, which to me was my best yet. Um, but having that full year to prepare for it. I think it's going to give me the edge and I'm going to take every every advantage I can with that because I know the other guys are going to be burning the candle at both ends by doing multiple shows throughout the year with the new rules. So I've got to take advantage of that and overall I'm just going to have fun being the champ and I'm going to definitely be kicking some butt next year in Vegas. We'll have this guy back here next year in 2011 at the June show down in San Diego. So for Phil and myself, MuscleContest.com.